As we age, it is natural for our bodies to change, but that doesn't have to slow us down. Unfortunately, some people may have to consider giving up the things they love, from sports to gardening. But preventative management can keep you doing what you love for longer by identifying issues, advising on how to deal with them earlier, and helping you make adjustments that can keep you active as you age. So what is wear and tear? Well, wear and tear is likely to be felt first in your joints and in your back, which makes sense because they get the most use and the most load in your body. When you can expect to feel it can vary a lot depending on your genes and your lifestyle, but for many, they can begin to feel it as early as their 30s to 40s. It can be difficult to know whether or not you have wear and tear, but preventative screenings can help you set a baseline and better manage as you age. Here are some examples of common wear and tear and how to screen for them. You may not think arthritis is something you need to worry about until your elderly years, but it can begin to develop in your 30s and sometimes even in childhood. Arthritis causes pain, stiffness and inflammation in the joint and while there is no cure, it can be slowed down and managed with the appropriate treatment. There are over a hundred types of arthritis ranging from osteoarthritis, which wears down the cartilage that cushions the ends of your bones, to rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disorder in which your body's immune system attacks the tissues primarily in the joints. Treatment varies depending on the type of arthritis and it can include anything from life lifestyle modifications and physiotherapy to medicine and surgery. An MRI can be used to spot the early signs of inflammation that indicate arthritis. It can be used all over the body and it is the gold standard test for diagnosing musculoskeletal issues. Key areas to check include the knees, hands, feet, spine and hips. Tennis elbow. If you don't play tennis, you probably think you have nothing to worry about, but if only that were true. While it is often an issue linked with racket sports, tennis elbow can be caused by any repetitive movements from painting to cooking. Symptoms include pain and tenderness on the outside of the elbow, which can be exacerbated by certain jobs or movements. It can sometimes be severe enough that you struggle to complete even a simple task like turning a door handle or drinking your coffee. A physical examination can diagnose tennis elbow but MRIs and ultrasounds are used to confirm the diagnosis in more detail. There is no magic cure for tennis elbow, but it will gradually heal on its own with rest and cold compresses to reduce the inflammation. A counterforce brace can be used if you need additional support and steroid injections can also be used if it is particularly severe. Ideally, you would work with a physiotherapist to reduce the pain, understand the triggers and learn techniques to prevent reoccurrence. An ultrasound would be the first step to diagnosis, but if it came back normal, the pain could be more deeply investigated with an MRI. The sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the human body, running from the lower back through to the hips and buttocks and down the legs. If you're experiencing issues with this nerve, you may feel pain, numbness, and tingling sensations in the affected leg. And in extreme cases, you may find that you notice changes in your bowel and bladder control. Sciatica can be caused in a few different ways a herniated disc or bone spur putting pressure on the sciatic nerve, spinal stenosis, which is a narrowing of the spinal canal, degenerative disc disease, which is wear and tear of the spinal discs, and spondylothesis, which is when one vertebra slips out of place onto another vertebra. If you have any of these symptoms of sciatica, you should speak to your doctor as soon as possible. As with tennis elbow, the cure lies in rest. However, your doctor will be able to advise you about your specific condition, as some people have seen results from learning to adjust their posture, yoga, and even acupuncture. This is definitely something that you should discuss with your doctor before trying anything. While a doctor will look to rule out other possibilities, an MRI can confirm a diagnosis of sciatica. Extreme cases can go on for quite a while which can be indicative of something more sinister at play and therefore an MRI is important to investigate further. Either way, an early screening can rule out the possibility of something more sinister and it can give you an early confirmation of sciatica so you can seek the treatment and get back to your usual best more quickly. Bone degeneration. Now, while there are plenty of things that can go wrong as you age, and we've listed just a few of them above, bone degeneration and weakening tends to come to us all, sadly. So, looking into a DEXA scan is important in monitoring your bone health. A DEXA scan can help you spot bone changes before they become a bigger problem. Understanding your bone health means that you can make tweaks to your lifestyle at the first 
hint of a problem to slow down the degeneration process and any symptoms that would slow you down. So how do you organize a preventative health screening? It can feel like an overwhelming choice to make, especially if you have a budget to consider. So we highly recommend that you speak to a professional first to make sure that you are getting the best screening for you based on your age, your personal history, and any symptoms you might already be experiencing. Book a telehealth appointment today to begin your preventative healthcare journey.